Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Garrett Jackson, and I'm going to be teaching you today how to use Google uh, Forms to create uh, stuff you can use in the uh, classroom. Uh, today, we're I'm going to teach you how to create Google Forms to uh, create a call log. So, what I need you to do is uh, open up a web browser and I'm bringing one up over here on the screen that I'm recording on and we're going to start by <clears throat> if you don't have a Google account you need to go ahead and create one uh, and then you go to your Google Drive and we're going to create a new and we're going to come down here where it says more and we're going to select forms and when you get to forms you're going to have a basic page here um, it shows you a little bit First thing we're going to do is call this something. So we're going to change the name. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to call this school contact log. And that makes, uh, go ahead and saves the name and what it is. And so first thing we're going to do is this, type in what this form is for. This is a contact log for record. Okay. So, um, one of the nice things about Google Forms is it saves everything into a spreadsheet, and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but it also timestamps everything, so you don't necessarily have to put a timestamp or anything like that. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put date, um, just so that if I don't get a chance to input the data right away, I can uh, do that um, and accurately record. So right here, there's a thing that says date. Okay date in which contact was made and we're going to include the time okay and so this allows you to <clears throat> kind of input that I'm going to make this a required question and the reason why is if you're recording the, if you're going to make a log you need to go ahead and record this information we're going to add um, question who did who did you talk to? And we're going to just make this text. Okay. And this will be real simple, like, you know, Mr. Smith, Miss Smith. Add this. How did you contact them? And here we're going to do uh, multiple choice. We're going to go phone, personal contact, uh, we're going to go SMS, okay, and we're going to go email. And this by no means is all that you can put in here, but just for our purposes, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, I'm going to add an item. I'm going to do this one, contact info. This will be the phone number or email address and this is good in case you uh, need to go back or you know print this off or anything this will be good for that and we're going to make this a text where you can just input that okay and now <coughs> narrative uh, what did you talk about okay and we're going to make this one paragraph text and this allows you to have a little bit more space Okay, to, to write things that you might need to write. And we're going to click done. And so now we have a basic form. And so we're going to take a look at this. We're going to go view live form. And it pops up. And this is very generic. When you click on this little arrow, it allows you to do like the dates. And then we can do the time right here. Okay. So example, you know, it gives you an example right here. Who did you talk to? Okay, how did you contact them? Okay, so let's say we're doing this. Today's the 24th. It's about 8.13 a.m. Okay, who did you talk to? We're going to say Mr. Smith. And we're going to say we talked to him on the phone. Contact information. We're going to go 580 five 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 one two one two and we talked about his daughter Susie great 
and then we go on with our narrative <clears throat> and we can click submit okay and then we can submit another response like if we're making phone calls to parents and all that now as much as this form is great I don't like just the vanilla form so we're gonna go back here and we're gonna do a couple things okay um, I don't really worry about the forms uh, settings right now uh, if you're doing a quiz or trying to get information, that's fine. But we're going to go ahead up here to change theme. Okay. And over here on the right hand side, you have all kinds of themes that Google has created for you. And I don't like that, but we're going to customize this one. And so we're going to go with a header image. And we're going to choose images. And they have all kinds of different images, you know, you can pick from. Food, party, kids, night out. Okay, we got others. Okay, and so we're going to upload an image. We're going to choose an image. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. I have uh, <clears throat> some information here. Okay, so we're going with the header image. Um, Let's see, what can I pick? Uh, I think we're going to go with... Oh, gosh, just to make all these decisions. I'll go with this one. That looks nice. Okay, so there's the header image. It's okay. I don't necessarily like that. We can fit it to width. There we go. Kind of brightens things up. Uh, title. Okay. Uh, you know, we're gonna you have the text color. We can center that. Make it real easy to look at. Description. That looks good. You know, questions, you can decide the colors, the help text, options, form background. I don't really mess with the form background so much, but page background we can do. And I'm going to change image, and I can choose an image. <coughs> I like this one. Give you an idea of what it looks like. So I like the red, white, and blue. Okay, so that kind of clashes with this one up here. And again, you can do whatever you want. So we're going to choose a different image. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what other photos I have. Got lots of photos. Uh, videos, music, downloads, desktop. Uh, desktop, let's go to working folder. I got some photos in here. And as you can probably guess, I have lots of stuff that I don't know what I'm going to do with. So, and we don't even need a photo, so we'll, we'll just remove the image. And it looks just fine like that. Okay. And so it saves things automatically, so we can go to Edit Questions. And then we can go, since we already inputted some information, let's put another one in. We're going to view live form again. You know, we're going to put another date in. Let's pretend we had one from yeah, or from Friday. And I contacted them at like 7.20 p.m. Who did you talk to? And <coughs> let's say James uh, Smith. Okay, and I sent him email. 
and jsmith at email.com email sent reference uh, and it checks your spelling of course email sent reference uh, his son's upcoming AP meeting okay and that just kind of logs it and I'm going to click submit and then just kind of follows through with that so now that we go back here it already updated the responses accepting responses view responses is where we're going to go and it creates um, a header row right here where all the information that is in your questions right here and then it timestamps it okay um, and timestamps it based on when you put it in so the date could be any you know if you can go back three weeks but it'll timestamp that for you and then you have you know all this information and it fills it in where this is really cool is you can do things like a uh, mill merge or but since it's in a, a document like right here we can do it like a search so if we're looking for a particular information and that information is anywhere on the spreadsheet we can find it like if one of my administrators calls me and said hey did you contact you know Susie's uh, you know dad about this and I can say yeah let me check my records and I can, it'll pull up every time I talk to someone and these by no means are the end all be all in questions and this is not even I, the one I use for my own stuff I have a couple other things that I put in there mainly because I'm a uh, special ed teacher and stuff I need to keep track of but the thing of it is is this is something you can customize and uh, there are other things you can do with this so Anyway, if you have any questions, um, I've put my email address up here on the screen um, for you, and I'd be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.